Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. And we're going to do the Book of Enoch. What looks like chapter 2, 3, 4, possibly 5. So we're going to I'm going to be reading from the Robert Henry Charles translation. He was seems like he was a believer. Everything I've read about him is pretty good. So All right, so let's take a look. Chapter 2. Observe ye everything that takes place in the heaven. How they do not change their orbits and the luminaries which are in the heaven how they all rise and set in order each in its season and transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth and give heed to the things which take place upon it from first to last. How steadfast they are. How none of the things upon earth change but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it. That word, uh, that's the end of part, chapter two. Luminaries, uh, that's where you get the word lumen which is a measurement of how much light there is. Perhaps you've heard of the word Lucifer, which light bearer. So it's talking about stars. And I find it funny that uh, they talk about how the stars are in orbits. Not so much that the earth is moving, but I might be reading into that. So personally, I believe that the earth, uh, well, this is kind of my, from what I've been reading and what have you, but I believe that the earth is pretty much stationary and that the universe revolves around it. But the uh, NASA and the rest of the governments, they couldn't have that because that would prove that the earth is the center of God's desire and love you know the i don't know verse uh, chapter three observe and see how in the winter all the trees all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves except 14 trees which do not lose their foliage but remain but retain the old foliage from two to three years until the new comes. What are trees that lose their foliage called? Deciduous, you know, like oak trees, you know, they lose their trees, uh, leaves in the winter. And then you got what's called evergreen trees. Those are, you know, the pine trees. So, chapter four. No, oh, wait. Yeah, four. And again, observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth over against it, and you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with glowing heat, and so you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat. And boy, if you're out in the desert, that is the truth. I remember one summer, uh, I was out in Las Vegas doing some deliveries in the summer. And it was like 112. And it wasn't even noon and it was like 112. It got up to like 117 that day, if I remember. 
And the guy I was working with, we, you know, he was joking, man, it's hot enough to cook an egg on the sidewalk. So what did he do? He went to the corner grocery store, bought some eggs, cracked one, put it on the sidewalk, and it, it cooked. Seriously, I was like, whoa. So I went to the casino, got me a, I think it was like a $6 prime rib. I hear they don't do that anymore. Drank iced tea in the air conditioning and ate my prime rib. Stayed the heck out of the thing. Then I got a load going to California and uh, went through Death Valley. And it was like, I think it was like 11 or 12, right around midnight. You know, it was still burning hot. It was just unbelievably hot. I don't remember. I do not remember what the temperature was, but it was, it was in the, it was in the hundreds. You know, might have been 101 or 102, 103, but it, you know, it was hot. So, yeah. Chapter five. Observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Wherefore, give ye heed and know with regard to all his works, and recognize how he that liveth forever hath made them so, and all his works go on thus from year to year forever, and all the tasks which they accomplish for him, and their tasks change not. But according as God hath ordained, so it is done. And behold, how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their tasks from his commandments. But ye, ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of the Lord. But ye have turned away and spoken proud and hard words with your impure mouths against his greatness. O ye hard-hearted, ye shall find no peace. Therefore shall ye execrate your days. I had to look up a word there. Execrate. E-X-E-C-R-A-T-E. -E. Transitive verb. Latin. The primary sense of which is to separate. Hmm. Literally to curse. To denounce evil against or to... Um, uh, to utter, to detest utterly or abhor evil. Yeah, there you go. So let's see where were, were we? Therefore, shall ye execrate your days, and the days of your life shall perish, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal execration. And ye shall find no mercy. Yep, that's right, people. Once, once those people die outside of Christ, no mercy. Zero. In those days, ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse. And all the sinners and godless shall imprecate by you. Boy, that's some big words here. Imprecate, verb, transitive, Latin. To invoke as an evil or anyone to pray that a curse or calamity may fall on oneself or on another person. Uh, have you ever heard the expression, someone wished that they had never been born? I kind of wonder if that's the curse or calamity that may fall on oneself. I, that's just off the top of my head. Okay, let's see here. And all the sinners... And godless shall imprecate by you, 
And for you, the godless, there shall be a curse. And all the shall rejoice. Evidently, he's missing a piece of the uh, manuscript here. And there shall be forgiveness of sins, and every mercy and peace and forbearance. There shall be salvation unto them, a goodly light for and for all of you sinners, there shall be no salvation. But on you all shall abide a curse. But for the elect, there shall be a light and joy and peace, and they shall inherit the earth. And then there shall be bestowed upon the elect wisdom and they shall all live and never again sin, either through ungodliness or through pride. But they who are wise shall be humble, and they shall not again transgress, nor shall they sin all the days of their life, nor shall they die of the divine anger or wrath, but they shall complete the number of the days of their life, and their lives shall be increased in peace, and the years of their joy shall be multiplied in eternal gladness and peace all the days of their life. All right, that's two through five.